This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1846. Are you just getting by in English? Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection with your American host, Aubrey Carter, the IELTS whiz, and Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, coming to you from Arizona and Colorado, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. Don't just make do when it comes to your English. Learn how to talk about making the best of a situation that is not ideal. Listen in today for native and natural vocabulary. Hey, Aubrey, how's it going? Today we are on YouTube, so that is exciting. Yes, it's so fun. I've been having a great day. It's been, I'm up in Idaho and it's been a little tricky because I don't have all my things, right? I, you like try to pack everything and bring everything you need, but of course you're always going to forget something. Yeah, of So course. I've just been kind of having to make do with what I have here, right? I have this random light. It might look a little, <laughs> not quite as good as usual. Oh, we're okay. Making, we're making make do. <laughs> You're making it work. You're making it work. I like to say making it work. Um, I, like I find myself work. saying that a lot these days. It's kind of like one of those personal style phrases for me right now, but it's basically, it means that it means make do. Right. Exactly. And I love your example of the light, um, you know, the setup we make do, we do the best we can with what we have. Um, what does this have to do with cooking? I don't even know. (laughs) I know I had put a little note in here because I often make do when it comes to cooking. If I'm like missing something in a recipe, I am not the person who's going to make a trip to the store for that ingredient. I'm going to make do I'll Google like substitutes and replacements. And just recently I needed buttermilk in something and I looked it up and you can just add vinegar to milk and that works. I'm like, Oh yeah, that's what we're doing here. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't know that there were so many subs, so many things could substitute like applesauce sauce can substitute for eggs or crazy things like that. I didn't know mm-hmm. that actually. There's a lot of really cool chia. This is one I found out recently. It's really interesting. If you have chia seeds, chia if seeds. you add a little water, it becomes gelatinous like yeah. an egg and it can substitute for an egg. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Look what our listeners are learning on All Ears English. So good. (laughs) So this came up, you guys, this is going to be really interesting. We're talking about that phrasal verb, make do, and Mm -hmm. a couple others that are similar. And it came up because one of our students in our live group classes, Naitse, was saying that she works in optimization and efficiency. She often hears the phrase make do. But she said, I feel like there are, are other contexts that I could use this in, but I don't know how. How do I fit it? you know, elsewhere in my English, which is so high level to be thinking that way, right? You understand yes. one context, but you know, it's useful in other ways. Yes. I'm like, we're going to dive into this today. Yeah. Thank you to our student Night Jay for, for giving us this question. We love when we get real questions from you guys, you know, send your questions to lindsay at allersenglish.com and we'll put them on our list, right? Aubrey, we'll put them yes. on our list. If it's a good question, we'll get it in there and you'll be in our queue. Good stuff. Yes. And this actually came back up. Oh, just a few episodes ago in 1844, yes. you and I were talking, Lindsay, and you threw out get by, which is another phrasal verb, but we said, oh, we'll save that for another episode. Yes. It does have a little bit of a different meaning. It's more like make do. So we're going to dive into that. But if you missed that episode, it was 1844 talking about get away with. That was a really good one. So check it out if you missed it. Oh my gosh. We've been talking about a lot of good stuff lately. Phrasal verbs, make and do and all the, and business English emails too yesterday. So guys hit follow on this podcast. So you don't miss a single episode. Um, Aubrey, are you ready to get into it? Yes, let's do it. Let's dive in. Let's start with make do, which guys, this means to do something without all the resources you would ideally like to have. Like me here, I don't have all the resources I usually have at home in Arizona. Yeah. And it means that you just get by, well, you just make do <laughs> without yeah. them. So it's often followed by either with or without, right? I'm making do with this light. I'm making do with this room. So uh-huh. that I feel yeah. or without like I'm, I'm making do without the light I usually have. Yeah. So for example, I, I had to make do without my computer 
while it was being repaired. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. Uh, <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> like, I've had to do that because I, I like mine has had to, has had some keyboard issues. It's insane. So I'll have to make do while it's being repaired. And I have like an older, slower computer. It's so, it's such a pain. We get spoiled. We get so the last time this happened, I just went and I bought like a cheap computer to have for when it happens again, because, you know, it's going to happen again. It's always going to happen, right? (laughs) Be prepared. (laughs) Yeah, be prepared, because really, we can't be disconnected. I mean, okay, one day go for a walk in the park, tell your colleagues you can't whatever. But a week. No, I mean, you need to work, right? We need to get our work done. So exactly. (laughs) Yes. And we need all the equipment we need. Like I need this mic, right? If I was missing my mic, I might say. I don't have a mic. Do you think yeah. we can make do without it? It's like, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Luckily I remembered my mic guys. <laughs> oh yeah. I know. I always make sure to bring my mic everywhere I go. I get made yep. fun of by my family members. They say, you always have your microphone with you everywhere you go. <laughs> I have to, it's the tool of the trade. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's, what's the next example? Aubrey? And then just with cooking, right? If you say we don't have all the ingredients we need, we're just going to have to make do. Yes. Means you're not going to go to the store and buy everything you need. You're going to make do with what you have. Yes. That's a perfect example. And then we're going to show you guys the next one, which is again, get by, right? Yes. And this one has two separate meanings. So it's good to be aware when you see get by, it might mean one of two things. Let's go with the first one first, which means to perform just well enough to not fail, uh, right? Well, when we talked about your roommate recently. You might say she doesn't study much, so she's just getting by. But maybe that wasn't the case with that her. wasn't the case with she Wendy. Was she was killing courses. it. She was killing it. Killing this it does mean like just enough to not fail. Students that are just getting by, they're right. like just barely passing the class. Yeah, like a, that would be like a C grade, I guess. Exactly. In, in our schooling system, like a C, mm-hmm. you're just getting by. Not not so good, right? Um, and then let's see, I'm not an overachiever. I just get by. Yeah, which is such a horrible thing to say. Yeah. I know there are people out there that are like, you know what? I'm not going to burn myself out. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm okay to just get by. That's yeah. really not me. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to believe that anyone would even have that mindset. Yeah, you want to do everything judgment. like above and beyond. That's another expression, a good one for our listeners today, above and beyond, right? Yeah, meaning yes. you do more than is required. You're always sort of over exceeding either to impress others or just to do as good of a job as you can. Yeah. Where because that's what leads to burnout. <laughs> I know. I think we have a lot of that on our team here at Allers English, actually. Um, we do, we do. I'm a similar way. I have a hard time keeping things simple. And I've shared this on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Like just yesterday, I got an email from one of our, our partners in another country and he said, I need this. I'm like, okay. At first of all, I'll just send him these little things, no problem. I was like, no, no, no. I'm going to create a whole spreadsheet and I'm going to, I'm going to have this column that he's going to have all the information he needs. Right. I try to go as thorough as I can the first oh. time. What I should have done is sent a couple of simple facts and said, do you need more? Right. But I have to change the way I think in that way. I'm the same way too. And it can really be a detriment because sometimes yes. you find yourself spending much more time than you really have on something exactly. and then you don't have enough time for something else. So really it is a balance to stop our personalities from going overboard where it's not needed necessarily. <laughs> it's a constant challenge for me, right? It's a constant challenge. All right. That's good. So guys think about, you know, take a minute, think about your style. You know, do you go above and beyond? Do you, or do you just do enough to get by, which in many cases, that is the smart choice, right? In the working world, maybe in school it's not but in the working world sometimes that's the smart choice (laughs) yes exactly right so there's one other meaning for this phrasal verb get by which is to have just enough money or resources to survive right we'll say like when we first had kids we were barely getting by and what someone means by that is we didn't have lots of extra funds right we had just enough to meet our needs Yes. And I love this next phrase, guys. Pay attention to my intonation here. It's going to be a little different, right? We don't have much, but we get by, right? We don't have much, but we get by, right? So what does that mean, Aubrey? Yeah, it means, yeah, we, we're not rich, certainly. We don't have a lot extra, but we're making ends meet. That's another another idiom that just means like we're able to meet our needs. We have yeah. enough food. We have shelter. We're doing okay, right? We're not needing anything from anyone. We're certainly not going on fancy, expensive vacations, but we're getting by. For sure. For sure. We're making do. 
Yeah, it's so good. Uh, you know, and, and the fact that I emphasize we get by, I mean, what is the mood that that kind of conveys? Yeah, you? your intonation was a little bit of sort of like, you know, it's maybe not the ideal situation, right? Maybe yeah. I wish it were a little different, but it's all right for now. Yeah. Goodbye. In my mind, it kind of sounded a little bit positive towards the end, right? It's like a little bit affirming, right? Like, but we get by, right? It kind of ends in a little bit of a positive way. So just pay attention to the way people say words in English, guys, for that connection, right? Yeah, that's true, right? There's a lot that it's implied by your tone, right? Ooh, sure. huge. And Michelle and I talk a lot about that on this show. It is, and we will continue to. This is so good, so important. Aubrey, what are we doing in this role play here? Let's say that we're on a Zoom call for this role play. Already. Okay. You want to great. start us out? All right, here we go. Oh, the audio keeps cutting out on this call, but we're going to have to make do. Oh, uh, I'll get the minutes after. So I'll get by. Yeah, let's just make the best of it. I can hear well now. Let's discuss financials. Well, unfortunately, the budget is really tight, but we're getting by. Nice. Okay. We snuck them all in here. Let's go through these. <laughs> all right, here we go. So the first thing I said, guys, is the audio keeps cutting out on this call, but we're going to have to make do, right? We have to make, we're going to do our best. Yep. We don't have the ideal situation, but we're just going to do the best we can with what we have. Yes. And then what did you say? Yes. And then I was saying, I'm the one with poor audio. I'm not hearing, but I'm saying I can get the minutes, right? The notes from the meeting. So I'll get by. Right. So say that situation of this is not an ideal situation. I have just enough to not fail in the in the sense of like, I'll have just enough to have understood what we talked about in the meeting without being in the ideal situation of hearing everything. Yeah. And I think that's a really good, succinct way to define this. Just enough to not fail is getting by. That's really good. I love the way you said that. Um, and then I said, yeah, let's just make the best of it. Right. Make the best of it uh, or make the most of it would be another way to say that. Right. Yeah. This is kind of a bonus phrase that has mm. a similar meaning, right? When you don't have all the resources, the ideal situation, we say, like you said, we make it work. We make the best of it. Yes. I love it. And the final one, what was it, Aubrey? Yes. Uh, you said, unfortunately, the budget is tight, but we're getting by. So you can see that we also talk about this as far as companies, the success of companies, the financial stability mm. of companies, mm -hmm. if they're just getting by or if they're very, you know, in the red, as we say. Right. Or if they're thriving. Right. So this is how they share how they're doing and, and how things are going. I love it. So good, Aubrey. All right. What's our takeaway for our listeners? Yes. Right. Circumstances are not always ideal and we don't always have all the resources we need. And you want the vocabulary to be able to describe this. Right. It's a skill to be able to make do. And it's also a skill to be able to talk about making do. So today's yeah. vocab will help you do that. <laughs> yeah, guys, go out and use these. Don't be intimidated when you hear them, you know, listen, observe native speakers using them and then go out and use them. Good stuff. All right, Aubrey, thanks for hanging out on the mic today. I'll see you yes, next time. Awesome. Thanks. See you, Lindsay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.